It's my privilege to be your host on behalf of IIT Bombay. And uh, I really welcome you and uh, I'm thankful to you for coming from all over the world to this place. And as I've been writing that the main agenda is to meet, discuss and create more and more opportunity. I look at this presentation as uh, something that spurs your ideas and, and so that uh, tomorrow you bring them out and it will help us in convening thoughts on uh, the issues that are within the scope of this uh, workshop. Uh, an overview is not a detailed thing. I'm hoping that um, some issues that may have been forgotten will be brought. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. So how many of you heard about PFAS? P -F -A -S? Actually, before I go to the next slide, I'm just going to acknowledge my co-author. A lot of work has been done with Waste Management Inc. in the U.S. They, have, they own about 50% of the landfills in the U.S. So a lot of my work is in the field, a lot of field data. I do field leachate quality, field emissions. So I need a partner. Uh, I done a lot of work with waste management. I will uh, briefly uh, talk about the sustainable management of digital sediments uh, resources in the aspects of remediation and uh, reuse assessments. And uh, my topics are uh, mainly in geo-environmental engineering uh, and uh, rheology of mud and suspension and uh, the apply, apply of electrokinetic remediation for sediments and uh, also polluted soils. Uh, next one. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Anastasia Mulato from National Research Foundation and uh, the program Future Earth. So one would ask, what is Future Earth? So Future Earth, it's a list, uh, or it's a group of research scientists and innovators working together to ensure a more sustainable uh, planet. First, a pitch about the Geo Environment 2024. Hopefully, I would like to invite you all to there. Okay, these are some examples of the impacts of climate change. It, they're not comprehensive by any means. The extreme events, <coughs> the, the magnitude is changing, the nature is changing, the impacts are changing. Wildfire is one that I've been focused recently on. I'll explain about that. And one thing I'd like to point out, the cascading impacts. Sometimes we just see the immediate impacts. There are a lot of cascading impacts that happen in a row, and obviously the waste management is now has a new magnitude and aspects. The post-hazard debris and waste management is a big issue in the United States with hurricanes and wildfires. You mentioned yesterday we're looking to the future, not the past. So there's very little data in here, actually. So it's more my reflection on the last 20 years of working in waste management, revolving from separation of waste into thermal, thermochemical conversion and landfill mining. So all of that meshed together here. Uh, I want to uh, present some remarks, some my expression concerning uh, environmental geotechnology. Uh, there is two par parts of this presentation, one of them. It's my pleasure to be with you and share this experience of uh, kind of uh, an effort to transform oil and gas public sector uh, entities. So, uh, so this is a center of excellence in oil, gas and energy. So that energy is also very important at IIT Bombay. And it's initiated by MOPNG, that means Ministry of Petroleum. Good afternoon, everybody. So I, uh, today I would uh, present some, one of my work during my PhD. It is, uh, a little bit concerning with the environmental uh, geotechnical uh, uh, geotechnologies. My topic is about discrete element method investigation of granular backfill pressure in my shop. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for the birthday song. <laughs> I felt special because, yeah. And uh, so far, I've been enjoying being in India since uh, the first day. Um, it was, yeah, I think I'm enjoying everything, my stay in India so far. Okay, so um, my presentation will be based uh, on the development of uh, a waste-based acidic um, geopolymer binder for possible application in building and construction and wastewater treatment. Uh, this is a lab, please most welcome to visit it. 
uh, we call it this, this as an environmental geotechnology laboratory. And those of you who got a chance to go through the book which uh, I have written during COVID time along with my co-author uh, Mr. Goli who is going to defend his PhD tomorrow, he is the co-author of this book. So on the first page you will find this picture which is a story in the Indian philosophy. Uh, which shows that there is a pitcher pot which has water lesser than the height where the crow can drink. So crow is intelligent enough to take out the pebbles, put them in the this thing pitcher pot so that the water level rises better than Archimedes and then he or she satisfies herself. So this was the genesis of uh, my research journey which I have described as the basic motivation for me to indulge in the needs based instrumentation. Uh, so as uh, discussed by Professor Singh, our lab majorly right now working on two verticals that is one utilization of municipal solid waste as well as industrial byproducts and another one is energy geotechnics. And myself working on landfill mine residues, uh, the basic motivation is uh, most of the municipal solid waste is being transported and dumped in unscientifically created landfills and dump sites. Good afternoon all. Yeah, like I am going to talk about uh, like my research topic and uh, like why I have chosen to work on this topic. So here yeah, like currently we have acute crunch of sands and gravels and uh, we need some anthropogenic material which can replace these materials. Uh, like I am working on uh, bulk utilization of dressed sediments. So here I will be uh, just briefing about uh, what I am trying to do and what is the philosophy behind uh, uh, how I am going to valorize these dressed sediments. So basically I have briefed here like what are the current practices of disposal of these uh, marine dry sediments. I will talk about um, nature-based solutions for climate adaptation and resilience of people and ecosystems. And my presentation will have, uh, I don't know, maybe trees and forests are new for most of you. And I will talk about it, the science I do, and uh, what can we do together also with this new team. So it will combine both what we do and the uh, future. Uh, this is a contemporary thinking uh, on um, you know some of the techniques what you have used in the dendro chronology to characterize the trees and then to identify their age and isotope analysis. So many things uh, you know which are quite relevant to the characterization of soils as well. Uh, in the perspective of like Esther, I'm coming from a slightly different. Uh position. Um, my main area of uh, concern is, uh, is water um, and water from a health perspective. Makes sense. We've been talking about uh, PFAS and the only reason that we care about uh, PFAS is because they're bad for, for us. They're bad for the environment, but more importantly, they're bad for the people. So if you make the connections, everything comes down to, uh, to human health. And the uh, topic of my presentation will be on nature-based and smart technology for sustainable slopes in Thailand. And I'm from Thailand, because it's Saj University. The outline of my talk, uh, I will start with why we have more frequently slope stability problems, erosion. And I will then introduce the practice of bio-slope stabilization we do in Thailand. Try to answer some research questions, as well as some practical needs. And I then will showcase the field monitoring uh, some data of uh, performance of bioengineering slopes, also showcasing the, the newly developed smart IoT monitoring system based on some real uh, landslide case in Phuket, and then we'll conclude with some possible outlook to be in line with the, the theme about the uh, bio circular economy. And Good morning to all. So today I'll be discussing on uh, three management aspects. As you can see, soil water management, agro waste and drought management and exploring the nexus. Thank you to appreciate my mentor, Professor Hilary, and uh, uh, my host, uh, Professor Sai. Uh, my coming here is well understood by them. And of course, that's going to influence my uh, presentation. Thank you very much, and uh, everybody. Let's start. My name is Rao Martin Singh. So I'm going to talk about uh, energy piles and we have developed a new solution in Tornheim where I work and uh, this is what's happening in Europe at this moment uh, energy prices are going up I don't know about Asia or Africa energy prices increase has caused unrest this is very real a lot of unrest in in France in Spain so that is how I started uh, I mean on this subject 
so this is one uh, diagram about as uh, a geotechnical engineering in those days so the main thing is that we want to get resources if you look at these resources in the world the maximum resources require the aggregates not oil or anything else if you look at this diagram thank you sir i am bhim kumar dal i am repeat, uh, repeating once more from tribune university institute of engineering pulcho campus i can say one of the best campus in nepal first of all greetings from iit madras to all of you i would be discussing about two issues here one is a geochemical processes and uh, how the carbon sequestration together can enable the sustainable development good afternoon everyone my name is ajan singh so i am a post doctor researcher in the uh, dnsr in uh, shar project good evening everyone uh, my topic of research is h4 co2 replacement in hydrated bearing sediments as all mentioned that they will not talk much about the past but there is no past on this topic good afternoon all so my topic of research is uh, carbon dioxide storage in deep saline aquifers a part of it was covered by professor dal naidu this is basically the schematic of our process that happens in a co2 sequestration okay so i will be discussing the challenges associated with uh, co2 injection good afternoon this is sinni manohar and i am working on risk associated uh, with uh, geological carbon storage like every country is uh, now more into the geological carbon storage i would like to introduce the move from normal chio um, membrane like hdbe and bitum chio membrane to uh, tcl this and the team and by saying the team i really mean the team the university family and the private family uh, for a very integrated approach to planning uh, taking all the stress that uh, we are well aware of not only the stress on scholarly matters but on logistical matters uh, dealing with embassies from various places but uh, really we do appreciate the tremendous effort that you and the team put together and it was also heartwarming to see that um, the university has given not only Uh, moral support but uh, they came here in person to show that uh, they appreciate uh, the elevation you've given the university by taking this branch of knowledge and uh, exhibiting the convening power so the thing is not whether individuals can be great researchers or excellent researchers but to have the convening power uh to get uh, people who are excellent in their respective disciplines uh to come and then share experiences i i was sitting here i was learning a whole lot uh from everybody and um i think everybody will agree that there's nobody who's come here without finding something that has changed the way they think about certain uh parts of this field this is just what is 